hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core and today i'm going to show you uh, some basic action views uh, related to the groups controller and you know that we have a three action views as three action methods in a group controller that is the index detail and create so in the index method you know that the list of uh, groups actually groups is related to the class and class is related to the students so groups view model is uh, as a model uh, uh, treated uh, as a model class and the template you know that the list and the view name is index as usual as the same method name okay so uh, select uh, desired model uh, from the drop down list so we have uh, also I have a simplified view which is related to the group view model and you know that page result is actually mentioned in a in a code for the pagings so just copy that and the replace with the code and I will uh, I will elaborate the code one by one uh, or you can say the step by steps so just paste it here and okay so what inside in uh, inside in it so the first of all uh, related to that model is related to the page result so page result is actually online examination system view model and the group view model and the next line is related to the uh, hyperlinks that is the create and the controller is the groups controller and the create looking like a button so you can uh, I I'm using at here the class is a button button primary okay the next thing is the table and uh, in the table we have a ID that is the group ID group grid class as usual you know that uh, table strips border and the table header we have uh, two things and you can say that uh, two columns name and the description and name actually bind with the item dot name because the list of uh, values uh, get it from the controller and the next thing is the action uh, you can say that hyperlinks okay so the next uh, action method is the detail action method okay so uh, in the index.cshtml we have a action method that is details controller is groups and uh, just when we click on the hyperlinks that uh, go to the detail section and ASP all route data uh, bind with the dictionary and the uh, first parameter of the dictionary is related to the group ID and the second parameter is the ID uh, value of your group okay the next line is related to the pagings so CS pager is actually used at here and uh, in previous video tutorial I already covered about the CS pager uh, which is uh, define the pagings and also uh, already discussed about the data table okay so the next thing is uh, to add in the uh, project that is the create action method for the group so just uh, um, collapse it okay and uh, just right click on the create action method and uh, uh, add a razor view by using scaffolding so in the template uh, select first of all create and the model class is related to the group view model as usual same uh, uh, okay and the next thing is the data context class that that is there is a no need actually okay so return view and the create uh, scaffolding is prepared by your visual studio I think uh, my channel is very useful for you so don't forget please subscribe my channel and uh, also subscribe uh, also press the bell icons to get a notification first of all okay so in the uh, you can see that create.cshtml we have a model that is group view model and uh, a row and here we have a ID name and description in the create action method we have there is a no need to uh, use the id property only the name and description uh, is enough uh, to add it here okay so create is prepared 
and after that you can use details so also prepare the detail section method so just uh, go to the template and add a details and the model class is the group view model as usual and just click on the add button and detail is prepared uh, by the scaffolding first of all and after that the replace with the my code and I will uh, I will elaborate uh, the code that is designed by me and that is the model dot group model that is the code and in the detail section we have a, a for loop uh, with the checkbox list oops not it copy it from clipboard and uh, just paste it here first of all just select it and paste it here okay so the first thing is the model dot name and the second thing is the student and the third thing is the form where action is the details asp controller is the group method is the post and the input type is hidden asp4 is the id so model dot student checklist dot count that that is the student checklist so uh, which student is actually in, uh, enrolled in the class so group is actually related to the class so here we have a four field the first thing is the boolean property that is the represent the checkbox second thing is it represent name fourth id and the name id is hidden and name is also hidden thank you very much for watching this